Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is the Wearing Pro Vero Barista, which means true coffee or barista is the person who makes your coffee for you in Italian. I love the design of this machine. I love the levers and also the pressure gauge on the top. It's a lot of fun to use, and it's really great to look at. So I already have it powered up and it's ready to use, but uh, while I'm going to talk you through all the great features and functions of the machine, it's manual. So that means you're going to actually be the one activating the machine. On the left here, this is your control. You push it forward when you're going to make coffee and or espresso, cappuccino, Americana, however you want to make, whatever you want to make. Or when you're going to steam milk, you press it to the back. And there's another level on this side when you activate it in one direction it's for steam and the other direction it's actually for hot water. On the side here you'll notice there's a see-through reservoir. It's large capacity. It's 42 ounces. It's removable so you can easily refill it. In the front this is the removable drip tray. It comes in a couple of pieces. It's really nice and generous so if you have any extra coffee that spills out after you're done um, making your, your espresso it's really easy to clean. So in the front this is your power button, this is your temperature button, and then this is your um, steam button. Let's look at some of the other items that come with it. This is a tamper and I'm going to show you how to use it in a minute. This is your coffee scoop. It's the perfect measure for coffee. One scoop for one cup, two scoops for two cups. Then you have two different sizes here. This one on the left can take pods, which I'm going to use today. And it can also be used um, by putting one scoop in and tamping it down. Then this one on this side is actually for two cups, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Just add the coffee, two level scoops, like so. And what you do is you just use, you know, firm pressure. Just wipe this edge off here and use your tamper, put it right inside, and you just press that down with a little bit of firm pressure. And what's going to happen is it's going to compact it so it's the right amount of coffee when you're going to make two cups of espresso. So you notice over here, this is the one for a single cup, and this is the spout for a single cup. So I'm just going to put that on and I want to just show you too this is for a double and it's split so you can actually fill this up for two cups but actually split it um, into two different espresso cups. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to make an espresso using a pod. Um, I like to use pods. It's really simple and easy. Some people, you know, in the beginning when you're using your espresso maker, you know, might have a harder time getting down how hard you should tamp the coffee. So uh, pods are a great option. Now up here, you notice I have my cup upside down. This is a warming area. You can put your cups up here and they get pre-warm before you make your coffee. Now all we're going to do, because it's already up to temperature, we're just going to draw the lever to the front and you're going to see the espresso be dispensed. And when it's to the level that you prefer, you'll actually put it in the upright position and that will shut it off. So let's go ahead and make an espresso. So as it's dispensing, one of the things that you're going to notice when it comes up to the top, I'm going to try to fill it up enough so that you can see it, is that it has a beautiful, beautiful crema. And the crema is the cream. And basically, a great sign of a good espresso is a beautiful crema. So I'm going to shut this off, and then I'm going to actually show it to you by turning it into the top. Now, I did mention that it can steam or froth milk. I'm going to actually set it in the back position and what's going to happen is we're going to, um, when it comes up to temperature, we're going to steam some milk. But look at that beautiful crema. It's unbelievable how gorgeous that is. It's a great sign of a beautiful cup of espresso. I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to check and see if we're up to temperature. It's going to take a minute and we'll come back and we're going to froth some milk. So now that our Vera Barista is up to temperature and up to steam milk, we're going to do that. 
One tip I want to remind you of is always make your coffee first and then steam your milk second because it's done at two different temperatures. The great thing about this piece of equipment is that it has 15 bars of pressure and has advanced thermal block and that makes it a professional espresso maker. So what we're going to do is it's up to temperature. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the frothing container um, under the wand and I'm going to turn this forward and that's going to allow me to steam my milk and I'm going to just, I can actually use this to move this around which is very, very helpful. It's really, really easy to use. The nice thing too about when you froth the milk is it gets a really, really nice texture. I myself prefer cappuccino, so I actually love to make my steam milk for my cappuccino. The other thing that's really nice is that you can see how frothy that is. I had just a little bit of milk in there and look at how big it got. A trick that someone taught me once is as you bang this down on the table, it breaks up the big bubbles and you get really nice small bubbles. One nice thing to remember too is it's easy to keep your wand clean. A little trick that I like to do is put this back in the mode so that you can dispense water instead of steaming and then you move this forward and what's going to happen is the water is going to come out that's going to help you keep your wand nice and clean. So there you have it, the Vera Barista by Wearing Pro.